kooi. Gebruik je ook Sigo? En heb je ook dat je soms gewoon geen internet hebt of dat het allemaal ja, gewoon niet gaat? Je kunt geen sites openen. Good afternoon. Welcome to channel 48 on this beautiful Friday afternoon. Well, I'm here with a problem that my Dutch people have to deal with those that are having an internet connection at the Sego provider. So apologies to my English people. This will be a video in Dutch and in English because I as well um, will let Matty show you guys how to change your DNS to the ones from Google, especially those people that are on a cable connection. I'm having an ADSL, so I have a dedicated line uh, to the server, but um, yeah, most people that are on cable are in fact yeah, dealing with a network that is getting and receiving a whole lot of hack attacks every day. And uh, sometimes so massive that the complete internet is down. However, uh, people that will be connected to the DNS from Google will have less problems with connecting to the internet and they will have a way better and more stable uh, connection. So if you're having a cable connection that goes via your TV cable, you know, uh, extension and then to the modem, then you are on a cable connection, then this video could as well help you to have an even, you know, more stable connection. This next uh, passage will be in Dutch. Hallo kijkers en welkom. In deze video ga ik u uitleggen hoe u uw DNS kunt veranderen naar Google. Waarom? Uh, als u ook een verbinding hebt van Sigo, uh, u weet Sigo um, krijgt heel veel hekaanvallen dagelijks en soms ligt de heleboel plat of sommige gedeelten liggen dan plat. Uh, je bent met een heleboel mensen op één netwerk, uh, hebben veel buren, Sigo, nou dan wordt je snelheid, gaat dan ook omlaag. U weet zelf hoe het is, um, maar ja, tegenwoordig hebben we allemaal zulke hoge snelheden dat je daar niet zoveel last meer van hebt. Maar het voordeel uh, als je um, zeg maar jouw DNS uh, naar Google zet, is dat je um, ja, minder last zult hebben van, van, van internet uitvallen en uh, ja, jouw verbinding zal een stuk stabieler zijn. Uh, we gaan nu naar een filmpje kijken gemaakt door Matty uit Australië. Hij is een van de administrators ook van dit kanaal. En hij zal u laten zien hoe je in Windows jouw DNS naar Google omzet. Uh, in de next passage, we're gonna take a look at Matty, one of the Channel 48 administrators. And he will show you how to set your DNS from your Windows computer to the ones from Google. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I watched a video on YouTube, a very good friend of mine, Channel 48, has uploaded a video on how to secure your internet connection with or without a VPN. So, the way I do it is, and this is just only for Windows for now. So, to do this, you are going to want to go to your start control panel like so then you want to go to network and sharing center pick whatever connection you are using so in this case I'm using my Wi-Fi card then you what you want to do from here is you want to go and click on properties down here and then what you want to do is you will want to look for internet protocol version TCP slash IPv4 so, it, so we'll go to internet protocol version 4 so we'll go to its properties right here and normally obtaining DNS server address automatically is highlighted right here but I use the following DNS server addresses which for in this case for Google DNS you want to go 8.8.8.8 tab 8.8.4.4 so when you do we do all that you want to click on ok but I'm not going to do that because I already have it set up as you can see but you would normally go and select ok and all that click, click on close like so 
Now let's go ahead and go to our internet browser. So in this case, we want to go to... So now that we're in GRC, which is Gibson Research Corporation, let's go to Shields Up. And then click on Proceed. Now what you want to do from here is you want to go common ports first. As you can see here, all of the ports with uh, my internet service provider as you can see, all of these ports are on green stealth. So now, let's go to all service ports. As you can see, all of the ports that go from all the way from number 0 to 1055, all of these is on green, it's on stealth. So therefore, no one can take anything. Now let's go and access our favorite content websites. Let's go to uh, this one right here. WCO.TV works, all of your favorite shows, good stuff. Now for my favorite torrent site, there we go. Boom, there we are. So I hope this video has helped. Any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section down below and I'll... Well, that was it. It was not so moeilijk. It was heel simpel. U hebt ook gezien hoe u poorten kunt scannen, zodat u kunt kijken of u wel op een veilige verbinding zit. Uh, dit is vooral uh, erg belangrijk als je een gratis VPN gebruikt. Moet je altijd eventjes kijken hoe het met de poorten gesteld zijn. En dat doe je natuurlijk bij Mr. Gibson. Nou, uh, mensen, ik wil u bedanken voor het kijken. Als dit video je geholpen heeft, moet u deze video even een like laten. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, well, that was it. It was not that hard. And Matty as well showed you how you can do a port scan, especially those that are on free VPNs and as well paid VPNs, you know, uh, or just connections connected to via, you know, to the internet. Always do a little scan and check out the website from Steve Gibson, a researcher from from old school researcher so so check out go read and learn about you know open ports and what that can do uh, to you and to your privacy and and to many things so go read please uh, and as well do a port scan i want to thank matty for this nice video uh, keep it up and uh, maybe soon uh, another video with matty as well in it uh, thank you for watching. If this information helped out, leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you in the next video again. Thank you for watching.